everybody. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Thanks for tuning in. Video 51 in 52 weeks. Good for a first year if you ask me. And so in that time, I have never really discussed that I work for Michelin Metals. It's the name on the signature right there. So there's a lot more information on metal at MichelinMetals.com right there. M-I-C-H-L-I-N m-e-t-a-l-s dot com check it out could be useful for you thank you guys for watching i appreciate it so how about we jump in let's see here our topic for today is 15-5 it's another type of precipitation hardening stainless steel the uns designation for the chemical composition is uns s15500 capable of high strength and toughness after heat treatment and with the corrosion oxidation resistance typical of stainless steels 15.5 finds applications in aircraft structural components as well as chemical processing equipment or other corrosive environments for aerospace applications the alloy is premium quality consumable electrode melted cem or, wait for it, consumable electrode vacuum melted, in which case we're at a CEVM. Cleanliness requirements of AMS 2300 are applicable. As in all of the precipitation hardening stainless grades, it receives a solution anneal that is followed by an aging treatment to develop final properties. Typical solution anneal is at 1900 degrees Fahrenheit and then rapidly cooled to room temperature. Aging temperatures are specified by the condition description. The H900 condition is aged at 900 degrees Fahrenheit. The H1100 is aged at 1100 degrees Fahrenheit, etc. Aging requires one hour at temperature for H900 and four hours when aged to other conditions. Cooling rate after aging is an air cool and now chemistry here we go we got the chemistry for uns s15500 aka 15.5 what do we got we got carbon 0 0.07 max we got manganese 1.00 max we got silicon 1.00 max we got phosphorus 0 0.03 max we got sulfur 0 0.015 max we got chromium 14 to 15 and a half percent we got nickel three and a half to five and a half percent we got copper two and a half to four and a half percent we got columbium plus tantalum 0.15 to 0.45 percent and iron for the balance there we go density 0 0.280 pounds per cubic inch in the solution annealed condition. Minimum mechanical properties. H900 condition longitudinal carry a 190,000 PSI tensile strength, a 170,000 PSI yield strength, a 10% elongation, and a 35% reduction of area. And so let's do a couple specs real quick. Just the AMS guys for the bars and forging and the plate. In this case, for bars and forgings, we have AMS 5659. For the plate, we got AMS 5862. There we go. Okay, and so that's the specs. And so what do we do when we're done with that? We've told our viewers many times. What have we told you guys? That some of the specs and part requirements can add to or alter much of the information that we've presented to you today. So for the 51st time... I will remind you to check the specs. And so this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. And if you made it this far, please subscribe or at least consider it. And if you missed any of the previous videos, there they are. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I will see you guys next Thursday, 10 a.m. Thanks for watching. I'm out.